Hello and welcome to Blogsprout. I'm LJ and this video is going to go over the month five income report of my niche site case study. So you can see the playlist here of the last four months of creating this site. It's been on a brand new domain, all content written by me, and I have some great news on month five. I'm really excited to see where this is going and this is for May of 2022, and I hope to continue to make these month by month to show you my progress I've been making. So what this video is going to cover are the major milestones, the articles, number of articles I've posted, the page views from both Google and Dozoic, what the search console shows for both Bing and Google, my income, my expenses, and my overall lessons learned and goals for the future. So the major milestones, so the goals for month five was to write 30 articles. I achieved that to get over $75 in affiliate revenue, achieved that, get 2000 page views, achieved that, reached level two in Azoic, achieved that. I was not invited to Azoic Premium yet, so hopefully this month I'll get there. Received $250 in ad revenue, which I achieved, so that gives you a sneak peek into how much I've made. I finally got that $15 EPMV on both Azoic and Google metrics. So that is the first time I've been able to check that since I have started this website. And I was hoping to upgrade to cloud hosting. And I do think that'll happen next month. I'm just waiting for a new credit card to come in that I'm designated for my business expenses. So the major milestones is I achieved the metrics to get to level two and I applied for it. Um, so in month six, I'll find out whether or not I get accepted. I reached 30,000 page views for a month in both Google and Azoic metrics, which is awesome. And I had my first day with a, with a thousand Google organic clicks through the search console, which actually was the last day of May. So how many articles did I put up? I put 32 articles, so just over one article a day. Most of them are in the 1,000 word average, but if you've been following me along this journey, I have a subset that are lower, closer to that 500 range. Page views, so this is the growth of my site since inception, which was at the beginning of this year. Um, as you can see in page views for Google, I reached 36,000 and Azoic is reporting 42,000. And that's over double of what I saw in month four. So I am very nicely doubling my site traffic. And I don't think that this is necessarily going to continue for too much longer. I feel like I'm getting to a point where I'm going to plateau until I get a couple new articles that really just bring in a ton of traffic. And I, I won't know until I write them. So the page views from Google Analytics, it as I mentioned before, there were like 36,000 um, page views from Google Analytics. And that was from a total of 26,000. Um, users. So what you see in the bottom line is the previous month. And as you can see, there was a nice uptrend um, in both months, but almost double what I was seeing in the previous month. Zoic page views, again, comparing to the previous month, that should say month five versus month four. Um, but you can see I almost doubled that as well. We see that revenue was bumped up 152%. EPMV was up 15%, visits 118, page views 117, engaged 100. So I'm really, this month was, was huge for the site. I nearly doubled everything except for my EPMV. So the Zoic page view overview, this is since I started Zoic back in January. And you can see I'm getting that, that nice organic growth that most people see around month six or so. And right at the end of May, I seem to get a really nice bump. So Azoic uh, traffic sources, I'm starting to get more than half of my traffic from Google, but I'm still getting a bit from DuckDuckGo and Bing. So it's nice to see that I'm not totally reliant on Google because if Google has a core update like they actually did in, at the end of month of May, which I'll have a video on, I don't want to rely on all of my traffic coming from Google so that if I get hit, I have, have other... Um, traffic sources to rely on. 
So let's look at the Search Console results. So I only have the free SEMrush account, so I can't dig in very deeply into this, into these metrics. But what you see on the left of my screen is the previous month, and on the right is the next month. As you can see, I'm starting to increase that those transactional keywords that I'm ranking for, and I haven't been able to really break that down because I have very limited um, reports that I can pull every day. But we can see that the keywords I'm ranking for is increasing, the, the traffic is doubling, and it's just really interesting to see. But as you can clearly tell, my content is very informational focused, and I want it to stay that way because I'm mostly um, monetizing through ads. So Google Search Console, this is, again, since I started the site, you can see it really didn't get much of anything in the first few months and then it really started to take off um, but why I have some income in the first few months is because I was getting traffic through other sources so you may look at this and say oh I must not have made any money until you know March but that's actually not true the the analytics show that I did have visitors prior to that. They were just coming in through different metrics. So it really wasn't until March that Google kind of decided that they wanted to start ranking my, my content. And I'm starting to see some really good growth. So month over month, this is the um, Google search result impressions and clicks. And as you can see through the impressions, I over doubled it, not quite tripled that value, but over quadrupled the total clicks. So some of the um, articles that are bringing a lot of traffic are starting to rank higher and not necessarily um, improving impressions at the same rate because they're on page one and likely just moving up a couple spots. So the impressions stay the same, but the clicks go up because they, they become higher. So as you can see, my click-through rate improved um, from 1.8 to 2.4 and my average position is going up. And the thing that's important to remember about average position is that it's including all keywords that you're ranking for. And that includes keywords you don't mean to be ranking for. So it's important to look at your most important pages and your most valuable pages and see what they're ranking for. And also seeing where you're ranking for things you don't intend to so that you can target new article topics. And I haven't quite gotten there because I have a lot of content I want to cover first. So Bing Webmaster Tools, this is the overview. So I've gotten nearly, I'd like to say 12,000 clicks, not quite, but over 11,000 clicks, um, which is less than I've gotten just this month from Google, but it's still important. And one thing I hinted on in my last video is that I'm noticing this kind of um, secular um, trend in which uh, my impressions and clicks are going through. And interestingly enough, at least through Bing, I'm starting to notice that these dates, these low dates are actually weekends. And I would expect that my niche would actually increase over the weekend, but I guess not. So I'll have to try to understand why that's happening. So just for month four, um, again, we see that uh, cyclical, cycl cyclical, <laughs> that word's really hard for me. Um, Movement slightly increased, but we're not really changing much in Bing. So as I continue to create more content, this will go up. But I think I've mostly um, kind of maxed out the the amount that Bing is trusting my content. You see we're at a much better average position of four. My click-through weight actually went up over double compared to last month. So that's that's really good to see. So Uber Suggest, um, I have the paid version of Uber Suggest, and last month it said my domain authority was eight, and now it's saying that I have a domain authority of 10. It's saying there are 55 referring domains and 74 referring domains this month, and you can see all the backlinks, and most of them are no follow. Uber Suggest also is showing that my Keyword ranking is really starting to ramp up. And finally, we can see that green down here, which is one to three in the chart. There's a tiny one in April, but in May, it's very noticeable. We still have a bit in 51 to 100, but those could be ones I'm not specifically looking for. But what's not bad is that most of my content is sitting in that 11 to 50. And I kind of just have to watch and see if that starts to move down to 
the first page and then hopefully to one through three. So as time goes on, I'll be able to kind of get more understanding of what's happening and how I can better optimize uh, my content. So SEMrush, this um, has still been pretty confusing. It still shows thousands of backlinks. I don't think this is very accurate, so I may stop reporting this um, in the future because I discovered that there's a way to find backlinks through Google, which I'll show in a couple slides. So SEMrush also reports the SERP pe features, and it says that I have 199 keywords that are in featured snippets. Um, I don't really know what those site links are, so I'm still looking for that. But I have 604 keywords and people also ask, which I really like, because I know when I look up something, those questions are usually really helpful. And, and to see my content under there, I, I would really hope that people, you know, could find my content. Um, I have a bunch of images that seem to be ranking for specific keywords and there's only six keywords in video and this is something I do hope to improve. Um, I plan to use YouTube videos, embed more YouTube videos into my, um, into my articles as supplemental material and hope that I can rank for videos in that way. It's not my video that's ranking, but it's the video that's on my page and it's just better optimized for SEO. So this means the actual person making the video is going to be getting the ad revenue from the actual YouTube embed and the views, but they're visiting my site and I get the ad impressions. So some rush keywords, um, we see um, at the end of May, I or in the middle of May, actually, we got a really nice spike in um, in keywords and where they are showing up on on SERP. So that yellow line's a top three. So like we saw in Uber suggests, that's really starting to ramp up. Hopefully, as this continues to grow, we see the yellow get bigger and the others get smaller. That's the that's the goal. Um, what we can see again is we're having um, keywords here starting to move up. So before my uh, my organic position distribution was more in this this exponential where I had 51 to 100 higher than here. So this means that these keywords are actually starting to to move down, which is great. So some rush authority has said I'm still at um, an authority score of 14. Um, and I only changed a f not even a couple hundred uh, thousand in my ranking position. So, yep, I actually, that's incorrect. <laughs> so I am actually 42 on SEMrush, which I think is way above what I'm actually at because I do no active link building for this website. So I'm not really gaining much authority when it comes to these backlinks. And one thing that SEMrush tells me is 82% are no follow. So most of these are kind of pointless anyway. But I have alluded to it earlier. I discovered that Google reports the backlinks in Search Console. So in Search Console, Google is saying that there are 53 external links pointing to my site. And I investigated. Most of them are low authority, but some of them are... Um, sites like Reddit and Quora where people are answering other people's questions with my content. So um, like on forums. So it's kind of nice to see my content there because it's it's meaning to be put there to be helpful for others. And that's what I want my content to be. So let's report the income. I know this is everybody's favorite part and I'm pretty excited about it. So you may have noticed in my last video, I was just short of major metrics in the previous month. I was just shy of was it 300 yeah 300 dollars so this month i was just shy of 700 dollars that's awesome i mean i hate to see that i didn't reach that 700 dollar mark but to have 700 dollars come in from that month um from all the work that i've been putting in is just re really exciting and motivating to keep me going so zoic um reports that between Google AdSense mediation and Azoic, I had a total of $588 um, 
from ads. So as you can see at the end of May, I actually started getting a really nice revenue bump. And if you recall in some of the other charts that we noticed at the end of May, I was getting a bunch more impressions. So it was a combination of getting more views and something happened at the end of the month that really boosted up my uh, EPMV, which improved those earnings. But as you see here, I have over 15 EPMV, which is awesome. So Google AdSense, um, income. So as you may or may not know, with Zoic, you can connect your AdSense account and it will allow Google AdSense advertisers to bid against the other networks in Zoic. And this was actually performing really well for me at the end of May. And this is what I attribute most of this increase in revenue for. Um, you can kind of see that I, you know, some days I got up to maybe $6, but towards the end of May, I was reaching getting around that $10 a day just from Google AdSense and kind of maintaining the Zoic earnings. So that ended up boosting up my individual daily earnings for ads. But what you can see here is that's a total of $145. So Amazon Affiliates was also pretty nice. Um, I got my first bounty. So I guess someone used a like seven day free trial of Amazon Prime through my link. So that's where that extra $3 bounty comes from. But there are 147 ordered items. The revenue was about 2.7 thousand. So that led to an earning of just over $100. So a total of $107. So I mentioned that I added a Zoic video ads and so far I'm not very impressed. Um, it's only added $13 over the last month and compared to the $700 I've made, I'm not sure it's worth it. Zoic does keep saying that they're going to um, keep pushing video content and they think it's going to be really valuable for publishers, but monetarily, I don't see it being very, um, very useful and meaningful. It's more distracting. I'd probably rather get rid of those video ads and just get rid of the $13. That's kind of where my head's at. I'm gonna leave it on for now to see if over time Azoic does a better job of choosing the ads to show on my videos. And I'll have a, another video on that later as well. So EPMV, so I have my total ad earnings over the number of visits. So according to the Azoic numbers for visits, that's $16.42, finally over $15. And Google actually was much closer than it has been in the past. And this is a $17.83 EPMV. So including all of my income, which includes the Amazon affiliate income, which is really more representative of how much money I'm earning per visitor is I'm getting around that $20 per uh, 1000 visitor mark, which is, which is really nice. Again, slightly higher with Google than with the Zoic reporting. And expenses, you're gonna love this again. I, I put in zero, zilch. Um, yeah, I, I didn't put, invest into this, um, this site this month. I did mention I was going to upgrade to cloud hosting. So next month, we'll probably see a few expenses. Hopefully, what I earn is going to pay for um, what I'm buying. I'm thinking about potentially changing my theme, and that's going to be a really major project. But um, between that and the cloud hosting, it's going to be a a big chunk of money because I want to pay more in advance than by month. So the lessons learned first, I go over the problems and I really didn't have much of any problems this month. It was a smooth sailing month and earned me a lot of money, but I did learn a couple things. First off, so I learned you can check backlinks on Google search console, um, which was totally new. And thanks to Doug Cunnington for that. I had no idea. So I was using the SEMrush and Uber suggest, which seemed to have completely, um, crazy numbers for where I'm at now. But I also learned and noticed that, so previously in my last video, one of my watch outs was that my mobile EPMV was really low. I know that generally speaking, your mobile EPMV is going to be worse than your desktop. And that's for a number of reasons. I have video ads on my desktop. I have sticky ads on the side, um, things like that. And in general, I think when people are looking for my overall um, niche, they're doing so with 
with more time rather than mobile. People on mobile move, move very quickly and desktop, they're likely to spend a little bit more time. But one thing that Azoic had recommended is that you place more placeholders for mobile. And I went through and manually added placeholders for mobile and I saw a great improvement. It's not where I'd love it to be or like it to be, but what you can see is over the last two months, my EPMV for the whole site went up 15%, but just the mobile went up nearly 60%. So I don't think that's just Azoic doing its thing. I think that's in part of me adding the necessary placeholders to improve that mobile EPMV. So my goals for month six, as always, 30 articles, an article a day on average. I want to earn $150 in affiliate revenue. I want to reach 50,000 page views. Hopefully that'll get me to level three Azoic. I want to get invited to premium because I know it'll boost my, my income. I really think that it's possible that I can get $900 in ad revenue, um, which would average $30 a day. And that's what I was seeing at the end of May. And I want to maintain that over 15 EPMV. And I really do hope that this month I can get to upgrading to cloud hosting and potentially changing my theme. I know the change in my theme is going to take me a long time, but I need to first create a staging environment. And right now my hosting doesn't let me create one unless I upgrade um, to cloud hosting. So that's part of the reason why I am delaying that. So the watch outs, site speed has always been a struggle. And I went in and looked at my uh, analytics on Zoic. And one thing I noticed is that my desktop uh, page speed is slightly lower than my mobile, which is very unusual. And if I go to my Google search console, I have almost all my pages in the needs improvement category for my core web vitals. And that's because my largest content painful is delayed. Um, and, and is over the, um, the, the limit that Google classifies as passing. So I'm hoping that I can focus on improving that site speed for the desktop because I'm ranking a bit lower on average for desktop than I am for mobile. And desktop is really where I'm making a lot of money. My EPMV is no, over double what it is for mobile. So if I can improve that site speed, which improves my rankings, then I think I will um, get a better return in uh, my income. And then if almost everybody that's watching this probably knows that Google rolled out a core update for May. And I've held off on putting a video just because I'm not even sure it's been fully completed. And I want to make sure that I have all the information um, I need and all the time to let Google do, it, do its thing on my site before I make any decisions on how my site reacted or how Google, I guess, reacted to my site. But I will have a video on that as well. So here's the overview. The, there's a total... I meant to update that, a total of 141 articles. Um, I've earned $752 through Zoic, over 200 on Amazon, 200 on Google AdSense, and my expenses have remained the same of 353. So this site has earned me a net profit of $826, which is really exciting. and it's possible that I earn just that much in my next month. So I'm really excited to see if the site can go there. So as always, thank you for sticking with me. I hope this was valuable. I know starting a site, I love to see income reports. I think it's useful to just get some kind of baseline of where other people are at, where you're at, get some ideas on how to improve your site or you know, I try to share the problems that I face and how I fix them so that if you run into them, you can do the same thing. So I'm LJ from Blogsprout. Stay tuned, subscribe, like, so you can follow along with this entire case study and income report series. I am also working on a few other video series and, um, you know, just other content that's valuable to you based on the comments and requests that I get from you guys. So please stay involved. I try to do my best to get to every comment. 
you know, I do spend a lot of time on my website, so YouTube's a little bit more on the back burner, but I really do want to help you guys, and it's it's been so exciting to get the success I'm getting, so I just want to share everything that I know and everything I've done so that you can hopefully do the same. So until next time, I'm LJ from Blogsprout. See you later.